Dr. Lee Rong Lily Chang has devoted her life to learning about people, culture, and understanding. Born in Shanghai, China, and raised in Taiwan, the idea of languages interested her early on. A specialist in communicative disorders, she believes that everyone has a right to communicate, and that belief has driven much of her work, despite cultural barriers, early on. As a young female Chinese individual growing up in Taiwan, uh, my ex uh, the expectation of me was perhaps to go to school and then eventually get married. Uh, but I didn't choose to go that route. Dr. Chang is Professor of Communicative Disorders in the School of Speech, Language, and Hearing Sciences at San Diego State University and the Executive Director of Chinese Study Institute. She is also the Managing Director of the newly formed Confucius Institute. Confucius was a philosopher. He actually uh, had a lot of disciples and followers and they wrote his words into a books and and so as a child I learned from Confucianism uh, and uh, recently San Diego State University uh, received a uh, grant, a seed grant to uh, establish uh, the Confucius Institute on this campus and the main focus of this institute is to promote the understanding of the Chinese language, Chinese history, Chinese people, and Chinese culture. So we're very pleased that the uh, uh, university now has the Confucius Institute. Because of her desire to aid others in developing communication skills, Dr. Chang has researched second language acquisition, bilingual language development, language and culture, cross-cultural communication, and speech-language pathology of the bilingual multicultural population. She is a native speaker of Mandarin and several Chinese dialects, and is the author of many books in English and Chinese addressing issues on languages, cultures, status of women, cross-cultural communication, and communicative disorders about which she is passionate. Our profession is mostly women. We have a lot of women. So I have met many young women and mature women in our profession. I would have to say, if you are interested in helping people, keeping, keeping that passion going, and being committed and being very committed to that passion, and also have a lot of compassion, then that is the right field to be in. Lily Chang has achieved great heights in building cultural bridges here in San Diego. She moved here to pursue her career in the late 1970s and began to learn the history of the city. When Dr. Chang discovered that downtown had a rich Asian history, she resolved to help preserve it so it could be celebrated and remembered. A person is really not a person until he or she can define his or her culture. So in that sense, be very, very open about one's cultural background and one's multicultural background. Lily Chang is especially proud of her contributions to women's history on a global scale. How do we record women's history to protect the cultures of women? Okay, And that part, I was very proud to be able to go all the way to interior China to visit a man, actually a man, who helped to preserve the only language for women that is in the entire world. There's only one language that's called women's language, Nu Shu, written by women, spoken by women, recorded by women in a small group in interior China. Through her teaching, publications, and lectures all over the world, and her work within the Asian community here, she has truly contributed to the maintenance and integrity of her community, as well as substantially improving the lives of others. Through her professional and volunteer work, Dr. Chang has promoted cross-cultural and cross-linguistic communication and understanding. She does so with a philosophy she gladly shares. First, find yourself, find your purpose in life, and go for it. There is never a limit. If there is a will, there is a way. And consider excellence as a way of habit and life, not just something that you do once in a while. Keep at your dream and focus on it. You will always be successful. Always be successful. 
Please welcome Dr. Lee Rong Lily Chang to the San Diego County Women's Hall of Fame.